Yesterday we talked about apples. Today we're gonna be talking about more apples, more art projects, more science, more counting, more songs. Are you ready to get started? Well, talking about the apples, again, I have another book. This one is about a fall festival. Have you ever been to a fall festival, to a harvest festival where you can choose the pumpkin, you can go for a hayride, you can go to a corn maze, play games, yeah. shoot apples out of a cannon, and even see a pig race. I mean, we once went to a harvest festival where they actually had pig races and we were betting on the pigs and we had like those pig noses and all <laughs> of it and then we did not win. But then we actually did win some bagels or something. It was really fun. Anyway, fall festivals are really, really fun. That's the point, right? This is a book about those little people going to a fall festival, getting their pumpkin, getting their apples and eating a lot of apples. So. Wanna read it? The Fall Festival by Mercer. It is fall. The leaves change colors. They turn yellow and red. We are driving in the car. We drive to the Fall Festival. Lots of critters are there. We bring a wagon to hold all the things we buy. I see so many apples. I try one. Mom pays the man. Little sister has apple cider. She spills it. It is sticky. We go on a hay ride. There's not much hay. We ride through a field full of pumpkins. I watch a critter shoot pumpkins into the air. They go splat. It is fun to watch. We walk to the apple trees. I see critters picking apples. I get to pick apples too. Dad buys the apples that we pick. Mom will make many apple pies. Yum! I eat another apple. Mom says, no more apples. Next, we look for a Halloween pumpkin. Some pumpkins are too small. Some pumpkins are too funny looking. I find the perfect pumpkin. It is big. Mom finds the perfect pumpkin too. It is not so big. We play the horseshoe game. We each get three throws. We can win prizes. I go first. I aim. I throw. I fly. Oops! I forgot to let go. Uh-oh. Dad goes next. He wins every time. He wins a bunny for little sister and a bear for me. It is time to go home. Little sister pulls the wagon. I help her. Dad carries the pumpkin. Mom picks up the apples that we drop. I think fall is great, but I ate too many apples. What is the moral of the story? At the end of the story, the little guy is kind of sick, right? Why? Because he did not listen to his mommy. Don't eat too many apples. They're yummy, but you know, in moderation. Anyway, let's talk about the book. Question? <gasps> okay, where does the story take place? Uh, the Fall Festival. The Fall Festival at a farm, right? Awesome, that was an easy one. What is your favorite part? What's your favorite part of the story? Mm. Is it when they pick the apples? Is it when they shoot the pumpkins? Oh, is it the hayride? Hay the hayride? Yeah. Yeah, hayride's always fun, isn't it? Mm. I personally like corn mazes too, but hayride, yeah. I like that. Okay, another one. <gasps> is everything in the story true? Exactly. Could it happen? Besides the talking animals. Yeah, besides the... I don't know what animals are they? But besides that, pretty much that's how fall festivals look, right? You can get a pumpkin, you can play all the games, you can choose the biggest pumpkin and then get a little smaller one, you can play games. And you can eat way too many apples, so most of it, yeah. Okay, last one. 
Who are the characters in the story? So we got the little critter, and we got his sister, and we got his mommy, right? And daddy. That's about it. Those are the main characters, aren't they? Yeah. I think so. Awesome. Did you enjoy that story? I have one more tiny little book that I want to read to you. And it's the harvest time. And maybe some of you can read it with us because this book is easy. Harvest time. It is time to pick apples. It is time to pick pumpkins. It is time to pick corn. It is time to pick carrots. It is time to pick beans. And it is time to pick potatoes. Mmm, it is time to eat. What can we make out of apples? We can make applesauce, mm -hmm. like we did. What else can we do? Apple pie? We can make an apple pie. Apple juice. Apple juice or apple cider. Mm. We can dry the apples and have apple chips. And there's so many other things we can do. We put a little video for you about all the things you can make out of apples. Wanna take a look? What do you like to eat that's made out of apples? Do you like applesauce? Or maybe an apple pie? Mmm, this one looks like it's gonna smell really good. What about apple juice? Or maybe apple cider? Hot with cinnamon? Mmm. Do you like apple donuts? Or maybe apple chips? Dried slices of an apple, that's a really good snack. How about apple muffins or cupcakes? Or perhaps apple cinnamon waffles? There's so many things you can make out of apple. Which one is your favorite, guys? What you Today, we're gonna be talking about things that are smooth and things that are bumpy or spiky or have some texture on them. I have some examples here, but I'm pretty sure if you guys walk around your room or your house, you can find more examples and I will ask you to do that later. But right now, let's look at the stuff that we found and help us sort it out. Which things you think are smooth and which ones are not. And you know what? You can tell even by looking at it. You don't even have to touch it. I'll show you. So we found those two rolling pins. Now one of them is smooth mm -hmm. and the other one is pretty bumpy. Which one do you think is smooth? Yep, that one. See, I can touch it with my fingers, but you guys just look at it and you know this one's smooth, right? Try, is it? Oh, yes. This one is very bumpy, right? Ooh, very bumpy. Very bumpy indeed. <laughs> Let's look at the other stuff. Thank you. <laughs> what about this one? This block. That is pretty smooth, see? Ooh. Very smooth. The pine cone, does it look bumpy or spiky or smooth to you? Spiky. Spiky, yeah. It's really not smooth. Not like the block. Do you see the difference? Yeah. Big difference, huh? What about this cube? This little rolling dice, smooth, smooth or not? Smooth. Yep, smooth indeed. <gasps> what about a bird? Look at it really closely, what do you think? Does it look smooth to you or no? Yes or no? No, it's pretty bumpy. See, all those feathers, all those little bumps on him, you can really feel them with your fingers. You can also see them with your eyes. Now, ice cream, this one's really fun. So, if I show you ice cream like this, is it smooth or bumpy? Smooth. It's smooth, right? But if we put a sprinkles on top, is it gonna stay smooth? Nope, it's gonna turn pretty bumpy. Touch. So many sprinkles on it, so bumpy. What about a cone? 
one part of it is smooth, the other part of it is bumpy. Exactly, smooth and bumpy, both. Ice creams are tricky. And the pumpkin. Okay, so normally some pumpkins are pretty smooth, but what do you think about this one? Is it smooth? Nope, this one's really spiky and bumpy and you can see all those little things on it that make it really bumpy, see? You don't even have to touch this one to know. Huh, so now I want you to go around your house and see if you can find at least two things that are smooth and two things that are bumpy. You don't need to bring them anywhere. Just look at them and try touching them with your hands. You know, you can start with the table. Is the table smooth? Our table is pretty smooth, but maybe you got a bumpy tablecloth on. I don't know. So go look for some things and then we're gonna make two awesome things. One is gonna be smooth, one's gonna be bumpy, and we're gonna be making stuff with both of those. We've been talking about smooth and rough, and we're gonna talk about it much more right now. We're gonna make two textures. One is gonna be really smooth, and one is gonna be pretty rough. Not so, what do we, not too rough, not too rough. What do we need? For the rough one, we need rice, rice. or quinoa or something like that, or rock salt, that's good too. We need some glue, and then if you want to, you can add some color to it. We decided to go with powder tempera, but you guys can do food coloring or a little bit of watercolors, whatever okay. you want to. Or a little bit of paint. Yeah, I just like the powder one. I wanted to show you how that looks, because you know, it's a really fun one. And then for the smooth texture, we're just gonna use a little bit of oil or baby oil and flour. And we need a bag to mix that in. For the rough, we're gonna mix it in a bowl. Mm? Let's get started. So, we're gonna well, start with a rough texture. Yeah, what's the texture first? Let's start with a rough texture first. I'm gonna put some rice in. I want you. Okay, you can do it. <laughs> okay, nice. I think that's enough, that's my rice. Now, a little bit of quinoa. I can do that. I'm okay, gonna... okay, okay. Just a little bit. There's not quinoa. Mm -hmm. Yep, and quinoa. you mix it, it's very okay. cute. It is very cute. I can see the white again. What color are we gonna make it? Um, I think... Yellow, red or blue? Red. We got red? Mm -hmm. Okay, and maybe it will like be a little pink. pink. It will be a little and pink, the, I think. The, um, so this is the powder. So we're just gonna put a little mixing. powder in there. You keep mixing. Okay. And for the soft one, it's gonna be yellow. So it will start coloring the rice and the quinoa a little bit. Now we're gonna put mm. glue in it. So now it's gonna get more difficult to mix, okay, wait. I can I help We're gonna you squeeze a lot of glue in there. I can do it. Okay, more glue, more glue. Yeah, like half the bottle, probably. Half it? Yeah, half I think so. Be let's see. Can I try? Let's, 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 let's see. So we need to make sure we'll get like a rough paste out of it. And can we actually touch it? We will be able to touch it, of course. And then we will make a little, let's call them jewels out of that. I'll let them dry. And let's see how rough they feel when they dry because the glue will dry and will hold the rice and the quinoa together with the paint. So mm -hmm. Katie's gonna mix this one. Misha will gonna mix the smooth one in the bag together, okay? Mm -hmm. well, so can you hold it for me? Yeah, I like Hold it open. Out. Hold it open. <gasps> Flour. You want to pull that whole bag in? No, just a little bit. Okay. Just like that. What color? Um, blue. Blue, okay. Uh, actually yellow, because Kayla wants yellow. Okay, actually yellow. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, bit of, a little bit of powder um, yellow. Uh, um, can we green? have blue as well? Do you want to make green? green? Yeah. yeah. Yellow and blue make green. 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 There you go. Okay, just I'm a little bit. Green. Bum, 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 bum. Just a little bit. Can I mix it up now? We need oil. Oh, right, oil. To make it so smooth? So it holds together and make it smooth, exactly. Is oil smooth? It is very smooth. Okay. 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 Well, let's see if that's enough. Let's so we're gonna enough. close it first because you don't wanna have the oil everywhere. So you wanna close the bag. Mom, can I start shaking it myself? Can okay, squish it and oh, shake it. There you go. It. 
like this. And now the glass was making icing. And I Don't eat it. Ice. It may not be the best icing in the world, just oil and flour. Okay, let's see. And powder, powder's not yellow. Oh, perfect. It's so well. we got our rough texture here, and look at that. It holds on the spoon. That's awesome. So we can take those while the girls work, huh? And we can put them on here. So I put a little plastic bag on here. So we can, wow, well, we can make those little blobs. Look at that. Um, this rough texture. Okay. I think you can mix a little bit more. Do you want to make those? Yeah. Okay. This feels cool. I know, it's really rough, right? Very and sticky. sticky. Why is it sticky? Because you put in glue. Because there's lots of glue in there. And I, I don't have paper towels, so uh, every time you work on something, have paper towels handy, just in case. How's it going over here? Do we need more oil? Um, I think so. Because look. Let's I'm see. I'm green. Okay, we need more oil in there. I want to green. What? Need is more oil. Green? It is greenish, maybe more blue. Mm, yeah, maybe a little yeah. bit more blue and a little bit more oil. More oil in there. Now a little bit more blue to make it more green. I want it to be super green. Like super dark, green? Maybe dark green. Ooh, dark green. Let's see. Let's see if that's better. Can I, can I shake it up? Yeah, you work yes. on it. Oh, yes. Oh, wait. Yes. Well, look. Look inside. Oh, wow. That's Look at that, green. how it's mixing. That's it is green, green, right? Uh -huh, it's green More it's oil? Green greenery. I put too much flour in there, you know? But you need more oil. Mm. Hold it. Um. Hold it. Oh, don't let go. I won't. Good. Yeah. Uh, now we can let go. Now you can let go. Okay, let me say treat you. Yes. Oh. Let me do it. Oh. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna just make sure it doesn't open, you know, just in case, you never know. Yeah, you Very know. cool. It looks like cool icing. It looks like an icing. And do you see how smooth it is? Right? Does well, it feel take smooth? It out? I think it feels smooth now. Can we take it out? It feels very play smooth. I, well, I don't know if I want to play with it, but maybe we can put it on here as well. I think that's enough for the rough texture. We're gonna put a little bit of the smooth stuff over there. There you go. You go wash your hands later, yes? Okay, wash your hands really well. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Look, ah, it's moving. So we got the rough texture over there. Smooth. And we have smooth one over here. We'll show you. We're just gonna squish it over here. Mm -hmm. But it will probably run everywhere because it's very smooth. So we're gonna cut this. And like when it's icing. like if it's an icing, exactly. Okay. We're gonna pretend it's icing. icing. Look at that! Look how smooth Ooh, that, that is. Ooh, that is a very really good texture. Green it. It is a green smooth can I, can texture. I touch it? Can I touch it? You can touch it. Is it smooth? You can touch it, Mom. Does it one finger in? Mm, that is very smooth. Can touch it? See, it's smooth. So look at that. We got smooth and we got rough uh, Mom, texture. I, I think the green is heading from the pink. Yeah, you know what? That will that will go down. It's smooth and it is runny. So if you if I keep showing it to you guys, it's all gonna mix up together. So we have a smooth one and a bumpy can one. I, can I touch and you that? can let it dry. Can I touch Let's see bumpy? what that it does. Can These should dry really well. Oh, that's okay. Yep. Okay. Go play, go explore, and go look around your house. I'm sure you'll find something that is smooth, just like this, or that it's bumpy, like that. Let's sing a little song about apples. They can be juicy, they can be round on the trees, and on the ground, they can be yellow and red. We can have apple juice, pie or bread. They can be crunchy, they can be sweet. They are really good to eat. Huh? Well, let's sing it now, yeah? Apple juice is apple round On the trees and on the ground Apples yellow, apples red Apple juice, pie or bread Apples crunchies, apples sweet Apples are so good to eat <laughs> Let's do this one one more time, this one's a little tricky 
Apples juices, apples round, on the trees or on the ground. Apples yellow, apples red, apple juice, pie or bread. Apples crunchy, apples sweet, apples are so good to eat. For this song, we all need an apple. And if you don't have an apple, let's just pretend you have one. Yep, we can do that too. Imagination. But you know what? We got real apples, so we're gonna sing the song for you. And then you can do it with us. Yeah, are you ready? Put your apple in the air, hold it high and leave it there. Put your apple on your nose, now reach down and touch your toes. <laughs> Put your apple on your back. Now please lay it on your lap. <laughs> See? I'm borrowing the toes in the lap for this song. Let's do it one more time. You have your apple ready? Let's do it. Put your apple in the air. Hold it high and leave it there. Put your apple on your nose. Now reach down and touch your toes. Put your apple on your back. Now please lay it on your lap. <laughs> Wanna do it one more time? Last time? And you can sing with us now, right? It's pretty easy. Put your apple in the air. Hold it high and leave it there. Put your apple on your nose. Now reach down and touch your toes. <gasps> Put your apple on your back. Now please lay it on your lap. Mm, and now go into your apple. <sighs> what do we need for this art project? You guessed it, an apple. You need an apple. But what else do we need? We're gonna be using oil pastels. And for this one, crayons don't cut it if you want to blend them like we're gonna if you want to use chalk or crayons you can but then skip the oil if you want to do oil you will need oil pastels so oil pastels in all different colors and then a lot of q-tips because brushes will just get really really messy so these are better you're gonna use one side the other side and then it's really messy throw it away and use another then we need a little cup something that's not easily spilled and you will throw it away after because we're gonna put a little bit of oil in it and then just a piece of paper and you're ready get your apple and look at it from all sides now is there any side that you like the most do you like to look at your apple like this do you like to look at your apple like that hmm just spin it around and see what you like haha <laughs> If you don't like the label, take it off or move it. We're just saving it for a different project. But let's see, I kind of like those colors. See, I have the yellow lines and orange and red, I love that. I what like about you, Katie? You like that side? Okay, so you put the apple in front of you and you look at it. Hmm, you can even tilt it if you want to. You can put a little pasta underneath so it's a little tilted you can see all the sides just make it perfect just like Paul right now what colors are you gonna be using so for me it's gonna be yellow orange maybe dark orange and red what about you Katie oh and brown I'm for the top having green, mm -hmm. light, uh, darker green and yeah. Darker green. Maybe some yellow. Yeah, some yellow. What about a little stars on it? Maybe a little white as well. What do you think? Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. I think we're ready. So, what shape is the apple? Is it a triangle? No. No. Is it a square? No. Is it a square? No. It, that is a triangle, right? <laughs> is it a square? No, it's not. Is it a rectangle? Nope. It's a circle. So I'm going to start with what's a yellow and I'm going to make a big apple. I don't want to make a tiny one over here. I don't want to make a tiny one over here. I want to make a big, big apple. Ho -ho. Now remember with oil pastels, we don't hold them on top and we don't use them very gently. We'll hold them down and we're going to push down pretty hard. Okay. 
Okay, so I got a circle. That's my apple. Now, see this little part? I want to add that before I start working. So there you go. That's my top of my apple. And now, do you see those lines? Okay, I'm going to do those lines. And I want you to kind of color the apple in, but not everything. Leave some spaces between. And I'm going to put orange in there too. Just like that, see? Push down hard, make nice colors. We're going to blend it all with oil, which is a really fun trick. It's my favorite. So just hold it down like this and push down, make lines, make lines. See, there you go. And some red. And you can color a piece of it here and piece of it there. There you go. And more yellow. More, more, more. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of yellow. Okay. And I have little dots here too, so let's make little dots. That looks almost like a pumpkin, look at that. Now I'm gonna start using the oil. So with oil, you wanna be careful because you do not want to spill that, do you? We're gonna get a Q-tip and dip it in oil a little bit. You don't wanna drip all over, right? So touch the sides gently. And then we are gonna start blending the colors together. See how they're nicely blending, meaning they're mixing. Just a little bit of oil and then mix all those colors. So my yellow is going to mix with red and I'm going to have nice orange. Just a little bit. If it doesn't mix too much, you need more colors. So put more oil pastels there, okay? Strong lines. And we're going to mix it. We're going to go up and down, up and down, tracing the shape of the apple. And a little bit more. There you go. Nice. We are very careful so we don't spill, right? OK, now it's getting really messy. So you know what? Flip, a little bit of oil. And combine the red with the yellow and the orange. Nice, see how smooth it looks? Awesome, oh, I'm missing some color here, so let's add a little bit more. I'm gonna add some yellow, and maybe orange too. Uh-oh, Q-tip, and more red. There's more red on the bottom, isn't there? There you go. Haha, <laughs> this one. <laughs> and blend, blend, blend all the way and that's kind of getting messed up see it doesn't work anymore really well i'm gonna put it away i'm gonna get a new one nice and more and the top let's go back to the top and go all the way around your apple take your time no rush just mix it together really really well and I'm gonna flip again just use a couple q-tips when you work on this and more oil nice I'm almost done here almost done blending <laughs> Ta -da! okay that's my apple now you can be done here, or we can cut it out and we can glue it on some black paper to make it look really, really fancy. What do you think? Are we going to do that? I think I will. Now, when I'm done with my apple, I'm going to grab my black paper, put it aside, and I'm going to get my apple and cut it out. So you cut, cut, cut very carefully. See, I have the lines that are coming off my apple and that doesn't matter. We'll cut them off. Make nice big circle. Almost there. Haha, <laughs> there you have it. That's the apple. And you know what would be fun? I'm gonna put my apple on a table. What do you think? So let's see. This is my apple, so my table needs to be, well, pretty tiny. So I'm gonna make a really funny, tiny table over here. And since I have a black paper, 
Let's use white and light blue. Oh, that will be really cute. Okay. So how does the table look like? We have legs, right? Okay, let's make them stronger so they can hold my giant apple. And there you go. Oh, see? That's why I keep telling you hold it low. Even when you hold it low, sometimes they break. And table. Let's color it white. And let's color it blue as well. Oh, <laughs> what's happening to my pastels today? <gasps> They're breaking. Let's see, the tablecloth may be hanging off a little bit. There you go, where's my, there's my table. And I will blend it a little bit too. A little bit of oil. And let's blend the table. So it's nice blue and white table. Where are you gonna put your apple? Are you gonna put it in a bowl, on a chair? My apple is what do you huge. Think? It is huge. My apple's huge too. Mm. You can put it on a little pickup truck. <laughs> you can put it anywhere. A dinosaur can hold your apple, guys. It's totally up to you. So I got a little table, and now I'm gonna glue my apple on the table. So I'm gonna flip it over. See, that's the oil, huh? All the grease coming through the paper. And go on the edges like that with the glue. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. squeeze. And the apple. It's gonna go on the table. Push, 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 push. Hmm, I feel like I'm missing something under the table. What should I put under the table? Mm. I feel like there should be something. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe. Oh, I know. Let's see if you can guess what it is, guys. No. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a mouse. Yeah, it's, oh, it is supposed to be a little mouse looking up at my apple and saying, mm, 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 how I wish that was a cheese. <laughs> so, are you doing the pickup track? Yeah. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. I know you're not done yet, but let's see. Can I have the apple? Nice. A big apple on a little pickup yeah. or on a table or wherever you guys want to. And they can totally go off the paper like that, right? Okay, have fun and send us your pictures. I want to see where you put your apple before you ate it. And that's it for today. We talked about apples, we made some awesome paintings. And next time, it's not going to be about apples anymore. It's going to be about <gasps> scarecrows. Do you know what a scarecrow is? Yes. Well, if you do, awesome. And if you don't, next time we'll find out. We'll have a book and we're going to talk about it quite a lot. We have an even really fun song that I want you to sing with us. So have a beautiful day and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.